But oh, hey, I didn't even see you there. Well, now that you know what it takes to be a creative problem solver and how we develop them, there's just one big question that remains. How do we even measure these skills? Well, funny you should ask. Javion up there is preparing for his big speech, trying to earn his public speaking badge. Badging opportunities are just some ways that we can show our portrait of a graduate skills. For example, we have critical thinking, creativity, communication, and even collaboration. But that's not the only thing. We offer many end-of-the-year cornerstone tasks before graduation. And in grades 2, 5, 8, 10, and 12, we have capstone experiences. We will be taking on challenges with increasing levels of self-direction. So you better get started. What he's saying is we're creating evidence of what we've learned through a series of performance-based tasks. We also get badges for our work, but you have to earn them. Badges are not just given away. Okay, you're up. And that's how we do it. Each task are designed to prove that us students are not just empty vessels filled with facts. We have capacity and we use what we've learned in school and beyond. Yo, hurry up, I have a date. For more information about creative problem solving, check out our website.